Entering into her chambers, you notice that Majoress the Enchantress is pacing back and forth with much urgency. She notices you now and hastily approaches you. <sighs> Adventures! Oh, thank Zeus that you're here. Oh, unfortunately, one of my patented Majoress's magical missile massage enchantments has run amok. I need you to hunt it down and, uh, well, what? Yes, of course I mean haunted town. The spell has come to life. There's no time to waste. Trying to dispel it by normal means will crumble in the face of those magic missiles. It's trying to massage the life out of everybody it comes across. Please help me contain my magic missile massages. I beg of you. Well, 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 look who's entered my shop. Oh, Twizzle has just the thing for warriors like you. Uh, let's see here. Um, perhaps uh, the Sword of Cars. Uh, what do you think? Of course it's not a knockoff. How offensive. I'm the most trustworthy proprietor here in my city. Um, with this one, then. Perhaps, uh, a staff of Magi? No, of course it's not a burnt core of staff. Well, don't grip it so roughly, then give it back. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, these are the best home ready enchantments you'll find on this side of the Platinum Gorge. Come now, Twizzle. Give me a good price for them. All of your spells are wiping well, crap, Madrius. Twizzle wrinkles up his nose for a second. You're the worst enchantress on the side of the moon. Take your magics and get out before I get the lumpy twins to throw you out. Oof, the utter uh, cheek. Why, I oughta. And before she can finish, the doors of the shop burst forward. A man dressed in tattered blue robes, sword in hand, enters. He shuts the door behind him and points his blade towards the two. Keep those hands where I can see them. This is a stick-up. Nobody make any semantic components, and uh, no one gets hurt. Thief! Oh, don't you dare touch any of my merchandise. You know how long it took me to steal all of this? Uh, I mean... Swizzle's eyes darts back and forth, back and forth. Adrius, do something. I thought I was the worst enchantress on this side of the moon. You know I was just trying to keep your feet low. Well, now... My honor has been impugned. I shan't lift a finger. The blue bandit, getting annoyed by this back and forth, taps his sword on the floor to get their attention, points him back, puffs up his chest. Hey, shut up while I'm robbing you. He's now going to roll an intimidation check. All right, so the intimidation check does succeed. Um, Twizzle, now more terrified than ever, uh, looks over at Madrius. All right, all right. Uh, I'll give you 50,000 for the lot. Madrius, a smile creeping over her face, raises her hands. Them's the magic words. Kablooey. And with that, she casts Mass Polymorph. All right. And the thief needs to make a wisdom saving throw.
We can just do this. Uh... All right. <laughs> and with a big poof, smoke flying in the air, the bandit disappears, and in his place, green frog appears. Ribbit. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'll take that gold now. And as she turns around, Ribbit. Twizzle, too, had turned into a frog. Oops.